In this one, let's emulate film with some advanced techniques. I'm going to show you how you can emulate any kind of film directly in Premiere without any plugins. And we'll be doing much more than just color and adding rain as they often do in these kind of videos on YouTube. So let's go. If you notice, the logo sequence was actually a film emulation, the very same that we're going to do in this video. But you don't need to do all the hassle, because at the end of this video, I'm going to give out this template for free. So we're going to build it together and then you can download it and use it for free. But it's still worthwhile for you to kind of come, uh, come in, uh, for the right and look uh, through the techniques, because these are, some of these are very handy outside of the kind of film emulation realm as well. And in this video, we're not going to aim for very accurate, like realistic film emulation, more for a stylistic look that works well, for example, some vlogs and music videos. But uh, tweaking the settings that we're going to go through, you can as well create very accurate uh, film emulations with the same techniques. And uh, making these YouTube videos takes a long time for me, so if you find anything very, like something new or useful in this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. So let's go through the techniques and uh, effects that we're going to go through in this video. First of all is chromatic aberration. Then we're going to do halation effect and then we're going to add edge distortion effect. Then of course we're going to go through the film color. Then we're going to cut down a bit of the sharpness, of the digital sharpness of our videos by adding some blur effects. Then we're going to compensate with some local contrast, eft, local contrast effects. And then we're going to add some grain and scratches. We're going to add some light leaks and we're going to add a, a film frame to our well frame. And we're going to make everything wiggle like it would be 8 millimeter uh, film. And then we're going to lower the frame rates. And of course, we're going to add the letter bars so it looks really, really realistically. Well, it's very unrealistic to add the letter bars this way, especially if we're talking about 8 millimeter film. But anyway, let's continue. Next, I'm going to go to the computer and I'm going to start doing this step by step. And don't worry if this is too bit too advanced for you, because you can just download this template and use it without knowing anything about this. I will be giving you this sample footage for free in the end of the tutorial if you want to follow along. So first, import your footage and create a sequence from it. Uh, call it film emulation. Then add an adjustment layer on top of the footage and make it as long as you want your emulation template to be. In my, in my case, I'm going to have it 10 minutes. And then nest your footage and call it original footage. The first effect, chromatic aberration. So first, let's duplicate the original footage and nest the lower one and call it chromatic aberration. And now let's enter the created sequence, duplicate the original footage four times, apply a color correction effect called channel mixture to the three lower ones and the first sequence, rename it red and then remove the green green and blue blue to zero. This makes the layer the red channel. Then do the second uh, sequence, make it green the same way, uh, remove the uh, red red and blue blue to zero and then the third layer, make it blue by removing the red red to zero and green green to zero. The fourth sequence we will leave as it is and just, this is just for comparison. And now we have separated the three channels and then let's make the top and middle one into add blending modes. And now they kind of come back together and if we compare it with the uh, original there should be no difference at all. But then let's scale the top one, the uh, blue one, to 102% and the middle one, the green one, to 101%. And now we have this nice bleeding effect, as you can see if we compare before and after. And if you play around with the scale values, you have different effects. Hallation effect. So what is hallation? It's the blooming of highlights that happens naturally on film. To create this effect, uh, duplicate the red channel and add a luma key before the channel mixer. And then add a Gaussian blur after the channel mixer and remember to click the repeat edge pixels. And adjust the blur to taste, in my case 15 pixels, and this is the reach of the halation effect. And then adjust the opacity to taste to 50% in my case, and that's the strength of the halation effect. And then adjust the cut of the, of the luma key to taste, for example 50%, and this will be the threshold for the halation effect, affecting only the highlights. 
And now if you compare before and after, you can see there's this nice bleeding of the red color from the highlights into the shadows. Edge distortion. So to create this effect in the main comp, duplicate the original footage again. Nest, nest the lower one and rename it Edge Distortion. And redo the chromatic aberration with high values. For example, 104% on the top layer and 102% on the middle layer. And back in the main comp, add Gaussian Blur and set it to a vertical value of 50 pixels. And remember to repeat the X pixels. And then add another Gaussian Blur effect and with the horizontal blur of 10 and repeat X pixels. And with these we can make the look what we want. And now compare and with and without. And now I want to limit the effect to only affect the edges. And to, uh, to do that, let's go and download a mask from this website. And I'm going to download this file and then I'm going to import it to Premiere Pro and uh, place it on video layer 3. And let's modify it a bit. I'm going to add a curves effect and add this nice roll off to make the blacks black and the whites actually white. And then I'm going to position and scale it so it fits the frame nicely. And then and the last part of this uh, video clip is actually is a bit uh, like the frame distorts. So I'm going to cut it that off. And then let's nest the film lead and name it film lead. And then go inside the new nested comp uh, sequence and copy paste the clip copy the clip uh, after itself like a train a few times to fill up the 10 minute mark. And then in the main comp, duplicate this film lead because we're going to use it two times in this uh, film emulation. And let's hide the top one for now. Rename the lower one Edge Mask and add an effect called Track Matte effect to the edge distortion sequence and set it to video tree Matte, Luma and Reverse. And this will use the top layer, the film lead, as a luma mask and it will kind of only affect the areas where that top layer is black. So the edges. And then scale the edge mask down to taste and add a Gaussian blur to feather the transition a bit, or like 10 pixels. And then, just to be sure, let's make the mask black and white. And now we can compare before and after. Film color. This is easy. Let's make an adjustment layer, set it to the video 4 layer and rename it to film color. And then in the Lumetri panel effect in the creative tab, let's go and look for a film emulation LUT that I've created. This is a Fujifilm neutral and you can find it as a download in the end of this video, this uh, tutorial. And let's set it to 60% and then we can compare the before and after. Blur effects. To add some blur effects, duplicate the film color uh, adjustment layer and remove the Lumetri effect from it and rename it to blur effects. And add a Gaussian blur, repeat the edge pixels and then put 15 pixels to the blur value. And add an overall mask and make the feather 500 and then invert it. And play around with the expansion to find the right look. Add another Gaussian blur and add 4 pixels and of course repeat X pixels. And now set the blur layers opacity to 50%. And now you can see how this effect removes some of the digital sharpness that our cameras have that film obviously didn't have. Local contrast. So to create a local contrast, duplicate the original footage again and nest the lower one and call it local contrast and go inside it Add an adjustment layer on top and put the adjustment layer on vivid light blending mode and then add an invert effect and tada we have a gray layer. But now if we add a Gaussian blur effect, repeat the edge pixels and put it to 30 pixels, we get a quite nice effect. On the original footage, add a black and white effect and RGB curves. Modify the curve to reduce the hollowing effect from the highlights and then return to the main sequence. Turn the local contrast layer to overlay or soft light blending mode. And here I'm adding a mask to limit the local contrast from affecting the edges because the edges don't look so good with this effect. I just add a bit of a feather and draw this mask and that's it. And then adjust the strength with opacity. 
And if you like this effect and you haven't seen this before, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and hit the like button. That would really benefit me. And now we can compare the before and after with this local contrast effect. Grain and film damage. So there is no grain effect natively in Premiere Pro. So let's do this in Resolve and bring it as an asset to Premiere Pro. So open up Resolve and create a new timeline resolution of uh, full HD and choose the frame rate to be 60 frames per second so we can use the same layer, the same as asset in any video. And then add a solid color, make it one second long because we don't make it, we don't need it to be any longer than that. And make it uh, 128 RGB, so that is 50% gray. And make it into a compound clip so we can actually color grade it. On the color tab, add a film grain effect and modify it to, to your liking, but here are my settings. And then go to the render tab and render out one second of grain video in Cineform 10 bit, and you don't need audio for this. And then let's create a film damage layer as well. Uh, add a film damage node and turn off the film grade node and then reset the temperature and tint to zero and play around with the settings and add vignette to taste. And then render again one second long video. And in the, in the end of this tutorial I will give you these assets for free so you don't necessarily need to do this step. And then return to Premiere Pro and import the rendered videos and add them to the sequence. Nest both of them and give them names grain and damage. And then go inside both of them and copy and paste until you have the 10 minute length covered. And to make this faster, you can use Ctrl or Command A and then C and then V a few times and it will kind of copy everything and then kind of duplicate it and duplicate it and duplicate it. So it, very quickly you will have the one second clip so many times that it will go over the 10 minute mark. And now you can make them length uh, you can make the length uh, cover the full, full 10 minutes. And then remember to put them in uh, blending mode overlay. And now you can see the difference here when we have the grain and when we have the film damage. Light leaks. Download one of these clips and I went with the soft focus one. Import it to Premiere Pro and set it to the sequence and nest it. Call it Light Leaks. Go inside the nest and uh, Command or Control C and V few times to go over the 10 minute mark. Uh, back in the main comp, set it to screen blend mode and change the opacity to adjusted strength. And then you can add a fast color corrector effect with the hue angle. You can change the color of this um, light leak. Film lead frame. Turn on the film lead layer and put it on multiply blending mode. Add black and white if you don't want it to affect the colors. Wiggle effect. Okay, so let's make our frame wiggle like it would be 8mm film. To do that, let's add an adjustment layer. And in the adjustment layer, add a transform effect. And inside the effect, put the scale to 101% and then start uh, animating this by clicking the stopwatch and offset frame by frame one or two pixels. This will take a very long time. So instead of doing this, I'm just gonna copy this same effect that I did earlier and just replace it here. And by the way, you could better name it something that you can clearly understand what it is. So here it is, eight millimeter shake. And here you can see the before and after what this shake does to a footage. Letter bars. So to create this effect, I often like to use an adjustment layer and let's rename it letter bars and then add a cropped effect and set the top and bottom to 12%. And here you can see the before and after, but in this case, I think I'll turn it off because it's hiding too much of our frame. And if we are really talking about eight millimeter or 16 millimeter film, this aspect ratio is kind of weird. So I'm gonna leave it at the original aspect ratio. Rendering the video with low frame rate. 
If you want to make this look even more like 8mm film, you might want to render it out with the lower frame rate. And to render out the video, I recommend going inside the original footage sequence and remove the 10 minute long adjustment layer that was there just, just to keep the sequence long for us. And then when you come back to the main comp, you can see this dashed line. That's where you don't actually have footage. You, you can trim this sequence down and then trim it back. And now you can go to the last frame and press O key to set the out point. And after this, you can go to file, media, and render it out and you can choose the frame rate to be something else than the 24 frames for example 15 frames per second and our film emulation template is done and here when i turn the original footage on you can see the before and then we can see the after and as you see the template doesn't render that slowly because we can almost play it in real time there's a bit of choppiness but all these effects render really fast and which is nice because it doesn't take too long to make these uh, temp use this template to create these film emulations and then when you're uh, when you have this um, template you can of course go and turn off and turn on different effects or then and go and change for example the grain layer to something else maybe a much more finer or more grosser uh, grain to your liking so with this template you can easily create very different set of stylistic film emulations or even very realistic film emulations and then when you want to use this in some other projects you just trim it down so it's this right length for your footage and then you just select everything and then you nest it and let's call it the film emulation and inside here go and remember to turn off this original footage so we actually see the film emulation and feel turn the uh, letter bars on and off if you want but i'm gonna have them off and now you can easily just copy paste this to whatever uh, comp project or sequence you have and be mindful that we do have the original sound from the footage here on this track but then we do have the projector sound as well so if you don't want it to be that apparent you can turn it down or turn it off so now you know how this film emulation effects are done right in premiere and if you are not personally uh, like do it yourself person you can download the template, the assets, the sample footage and even the film lot that we used in this video for free uh, in the link below and some, it will appear here in size in a second. And I'm going to give out this template uh, with the Creative Commons 3.0 attribution license. So it means that you need to just copy paste some few lines of text to wherever you are publishing your videos to kind of give credit to me and the other people who have uh, created these assets that we're going to uh, use in this video. And this means that you can use this for commercial purposes as well. And if you if you end up publishing this on Instagram, do mention me uh, uh, the at sign uh, jaw dot works uh, so that I get a kind of a notification and I can see what you have been up to and I give you a like on that uh, content that you create with this template. So go below the video and uh, well here somewhere. Oh, was it? Where is it actually? It's here. Here's the link. Yes. So go and download your template and start emulating film. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye. And subscribe to the channel. Do subscribe to the channel. Okay, have you done it? Have you subscribed? Good. Okay, bye.